Whoa. What is this cinematics gonna be like? Wow, all that destruction. Somehow the animation is even better than before. <gasps> Everything is so crisp. Is so cool. We will be the saving way. Wow. Wait, okay, so before it goes to the next video, the last one. I couldn't even pay attention to the music. I mean, the music was phenomenal, but the animation was so crisp and so HD to the point that I was blown away <laughs> by how smooth everything was. And oh, the sound effects, in addition to the awesome music and 100 out of 100 animation, it was an experience. Wow, I did not expect that. I mean, the previous videos were really good too, but I feel like they have somehow leveled up everything that they did in the previous videos into this masterpiece. Oh, I, I, I'm kind of in shock. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> I, I do want to rewatch it just so that I can focus on the lyrics this time. So if you don't really want to rewatch it again, which honestly you should probably be rewatching this thing multiple times, which I'm sure you have, considering that there's what 2.3 million views on this thing. So I'm gonna focus on the lyrics this time because I was too much in awe of the animation, just so that I can have a bit of an understanding of what might be going on potentially story wise, and maybe I can get some thoughts in about the lyrics and some theories on what might be happening. But yeah, let's let's rewatch this and check out the lyrics. And if you don't really want to listen to my analysis on the lyrics, then you can go ahead and skip forward a bit more so we can watch the global launch trailer together. But yeah, let, let's rewatch first.
Okay, so I assume this is mostly the future and then the parts where it was like orange with the burning fires and the monsters coming about and people escaping and running away. That must be the past. Okay, so, I know. I know, I would love to continue watching it, but uh, since this is about the lyrics, uh, there was one part that I am... Um, let me see, where is it? It was... So, the darkest hour is nearing. So, this is assuming it's talking about the past when this all this bad stuff started to happen, which is why it's the post-apocalyptic era in the game. So, when that incident happened that's when the ground started to first there was silence and that explosion thing happened and then when everyone's doom is basically guaranteed i guess if we could call it that then the ground started to crack and that's when it unleashed this thing and turns into a monster which is why they call it beneath the shattered heaven which is what i'm assuming that they're referring to at this point and then I guess, uh, let's keep going. Okay, so here we talk about how people are still holding their faith, even though it's a tragic incident, which is most likely why... Let me see, in the other... Right here, only way out, but I don't want to take it. Because death is one way to, I guess, escape from this tragic incident but they still keep their hope but they're i suppose they're too afraid when they say and we too scared to shake it i do wonder if it means more along the lines of they don't want to admit that things are getting to a point where they may no longer be able to survive which is why i say their fate is sinking because they don't really have a choice at this point but then in the present time, a.k.a. the game that we're playing, or we're going to play, that's when they're going to try to fight against their fate of perishing and survive. Even though the people, or not people, but the enemies think that the humans, or if, are, are they called humans at this point? Well, let's just call them humans for now. That the humans are weak, especially because of what happened when they first appeared, which is humanity most likely almost being destroyed and not going to be able to survive very long until they got these powers, I assume, or something like that. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched the previous videos, so I don't remember every single detail. But the fact that all of that happened in the past and the current characters can't do anything about it most likely still hurts in their heart and the sacrifices that the people later made which is um let me see these people that these people made so that humanity can survive basically it was a much more tragic incident because if they died then where is humanity's hope is most likely what i am inferring but let's keep going Or it could be talking about the gods not having empathy for the potential perishing of the humanity. So instead, human, humans have to team up in order to fight against their fate. Gosh, I love that part. He might not be a main character, but he was so cool. That NPC. Oh, so smooth.
Yeah, actually, I do think that instead of the monsters, it's the the gods of the world, or at least they believe that the gods of the world don't have empathy for humanity and their predicament. Oh, so smooth. But instead of facing that tragic incident again this time, humanity is going to lead a new revolution. Which is why they said revolution, even if there's tragedies in repetition. So let me actually go back to that part. There was a part in here, like a switch, I believe, where even though they're having the same incident, where they're facing against the same enemy, instead of all falling down this time, they're going to win. Especially, let me see the lyrics. Where is it? So now, no longer do they need to fear because everyone's working together to fight against fate. And these new people who have powers that are strong enough to defeat against these enemies will lead a new world in order to bring, I guess, a, about a golden age of humanity if they succeed. And that's probably us leading that revolution or whatever it's called wave age and that's why it's revolution it's our call tragedies and repetition basically no matter how many tragedies happen they will continue to move forward and that's why they say we'll show them how we defy i assume that them is referring to the gods or whatever they believe in to be the ones that are in charge of the world and that's how they shatter the darkness you know, the despair that humanity had for a very long time because of what happened at the time. And they no longer need to fear and can live life as normal or as normal as you could call it. And that's also why they say, I will lead you through the night. And that together, as long as they're working together, they can defeat the enemies and continue to move forward. I believe that was it. And of course, the final line has to be, we will be the saving light, which indicates that we, the characters, or our own character, and that age or generation of characters will be representing the saving light or grace that bestows upon the rest of humanity and giving them hope and usher them into a new age a potential golden age, or at least break out of the post-apocalyptic era that they're currently in. That is my assumption, and I have never played any of the beta tests for Wuthering Waves. I'm only extrapolating based on the lyrics and what I saw in the previous videos. I know that they changed 90% of the story, so I could be off mostly because I don't have enough context or information and I never looked up anything about the game. But yeah, let's move forward to the last video. Global Launch Trailer. I'll just let it go naturally. One of the Thranodians will soon be reawakened. Thranodians? They are the enemies of human civilizations. To begin with? I heard you've lost your memories. If all of these have something to do with your true identity, then who exactly are you? Ooh, we can climb like that? You possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thronomia. Joy prophesied about your arrival. After all this effort, do you truly want to throw it all away? Is that an enemy? I suppose it is up to you to discover the final definitive answer for yourself. Whoa. Is my sword is always yours. Here you are. Besides, not seeing the opponent heightens the thrill of the game. Oh, she's so cool. Rule setting shepherd or the rule breaking black lab. Hmm. Story is yours to spin. <laughs> that was so good. 
Okay, okay. So, first of all, so we're called Rover in this game. Sometimes I forget what we're referred to in this game, even though I watched the previous videos. But it seems like we lost our memories, and we're trying to figure out why we're connected to the Theranodian, I believe that's what they said. And I do wonder if choices matter in this game, where depending on what choice we choose, we go down a black lamb route or the other thing that they said. Makes me very curious how this is going to turn out. Also, the English voices are actually really good. I'm still not sure if I want to play it in the Japanese voice or if I want to play in the English voice. But let me know down below which voices you're going to go for and what voice you would like me to play in. I'm quite curious, especially for those that have done the beta testing. Uh, which one do you prefer voice-wise for language? quite curious. I do like to play in Japanese most of the time, mostly because I can understand it easier through the ear, but uh, I also like English too. So it's kind of difficult for me to choose which one I would like to play in. At any rate, I feel like the Weathering Ways global launch trailer has given a lot more context about the story itself, which is quite exciting because I don't recall if they actually talked in depth about the story, except for the fact that it changed 90% of it. At least in the interview that I watched in the previous part. So I'm quite excited to learn how the story is going to turn out and what the beginning is going to be like. Oh, I just have high hopes for this game now. <laughs> Expectations have gone up now. <laughs> I can't wait to play it during launch. It's gonna be so much fun. I think I might wait one week after launch before playing only to give people some time to play it first before I play it. But either way, from the cinematics to this global trailer, oh, I am so freaking excited. Oh, also, are you going to play as the female main character or the male one? I'm probably going to go with the female only because I'm female myself and I prefer playing as female, but let me know which one you're going to play as. <sighs> I bet there's going to be more coming out soon. If it does, then I'll probably react to those in a separate part, but I hope you enjoyed watching me, I guess, watch the cinematics, analyze the lyrics, and watch the trailer. And if you want more Weathering Waves, then make sure to give it a like, comment below, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!